So it gives me great pleasure to introduce Belene Ayanao Kasi. He is a chief expert midwife professional and a reproductive health specialist with more than 12 years of experience in clinical teaching, research and project management in different governmental and non-governmental organisations. Currently, he is working as a lecturer and head for the Department of Women and Family Health at the School of Midwifery in the University of Gonda, Ethiopia. He's also a member of the executive board of the Ethiopian Midwives Association. So, Belene, I'm just going to pass over the presentation to yourself. If you want to turn your camera on, you can. I forgot to do that, but hello, I'm here. All right, thank you, Wally, for your uh, nice introduction. And good morning, all, and uh, happy International Day of the New Wives, please. Uh, so I will press proceed with the presentation. Uh, our study focused on the depression, anxiety, and stress during the COVID pandemic among uh, midwives uh, in Ethiopia, which was done as a nationwide cross-sectional study. And here are the team members involved in the uh, development of the study till the final uh, delivery of the, the results. And here are my presentation outlines and. Uh, uh, as you all uh, remember, like the uh, COVID-19 is an infectious disease that is being caught by a new strain of uh, novel coronavirus, which was uh, just first confirmed in December 2019 in Wuhan, China. And uh, it rapidly crossed borders, infected lots of uh, people throughout the world and its emergence as well as uh, the, the, the spread really caused the confusion and anxiety as well as fear among the general public, including uh, those health care providers and uh, uh, because of their uh, direct contact with patients, uh, health care workers are among the highest uh, the risk of being infected by the COVID-19 uh, the and uh, particularly the life-saving support that midwives provide uh, for those uh, pregnant laboring and postpartum women. Uh, which uh, presents a unique challenge and require close and prolonged contact with uh, women and their newborns. And uh, the, 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 limited, the, the, the limitations in availability of personal protective equipment also has raised concerns and worries about the risk of uh, COVID-19 infection among health care providers. Therefore, our study tried to uh, assess the, the depression, anxiety and stress uh, during the COVID pandemic among uh, midwives providing uh, uh, services in its facilities. And when we come to the objectives of uh, the, the study, uh, The study aimed uh, to assess the like the prevalence of depression, anxiety, and stress, and the factors uh, affecting the the, 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 the the presence of these uh, outcome variables. Then, the, as a summary of the methods that we applied, it was a quantitative cross-sectional study, which was being uh, conducted from the end of May to uh, end of August in 2020, and. It was uh, the, a nationwide study, uh, which was uh, done among all the, 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 the list of uh, midwives census in the country. And uh, the source population was all midwives currently providing clinical care in Ethiopia. And uh, the, the, those midwives currently providing clinical care uh, during the study period, and we randomly selected that samples have been taken as the study population. and. Uh, the, the, the total sample size of 1,691 samples uh, were selected using a simple random uh, sampling technique. And uh, this 1,691 sample was uh, the, the taken among the, the 16,925 midwives in the country, which was the 2019 database, and uh, the, the, the sample size uh, being done using the single population proportion formula. 
so that the the the, 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 the we use the list of contacts of uh, the midwives in Ethiopia the, during the 2019. It was uh, the, the national census, which takes all those midwives uh, practicing in facilities, and uh, the, we proportionally allocate the, the 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 total number of midwives for each of the nine regions in the country and to uh, city administrations based on their number of midwives in their respective facilities and we used to apply the simple random sampling to, to, to select those uh, the study participants. Then the dependent variables were the depression, anxiety and stress and the, 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 as an independent variable so we used to uh, assess the, the multiple social demographic characteristics, uh, their knowledge towards the COVID-19, their attitude towards the disease, and uh, their self-reported uh, preventive practice uh, were considered as independent variables. And we measured the depression, anxiety, and stress using the, 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 the depression, anxiety, and stress DAS uh, 21 scale, which was uh, uh, currently you know, the, the largely used uh, tool and still validated in, in, in Ethiopia to be used among adults and uh, the, the, the knowledge with, uh, as well as attitude and uh, practice were also measured using their uh, the mean score uh, of midwives and And finally, after identifying those study participants, the data were collected uh, through telephone interview, and uh, we uh, we used fifteen uh, data collectors uh, who were maintaining well healthcare providers and two supervisors involved in the data collection process, and we tried to uh, uh, the, the test the, the the tools among those instructors in the University of Gondor, and we tried to uh, train those data collectors and knowing identifying information uh, collected from those uh, participants. Then the, 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 the data was analyzed using SPSS uh, the, the version 24 software and we used frequencies, cost tabulations uh, were used to summarize those uh, descriptive uh, statistics and bivariate and multivariate statistic regression analysis uh, applied. Then the study uh, the, the got analytical clearance uh, from the Israeli board of uh, World Day University uh, support later was also obtained from uh, the Ethiopian Midwives Association so as to uh, uh, take the, their list, their contact numbers and uh, consent on behalf of the midwives. And uh, informed consent was uh, obtained from participants. Uh, sorry, and when we come to the results, uh, the, when we see the social demographic characteristics, uh, uh, a total of 1,495 midwives, which uh, makes almost uh, the response rate of 88.6%, and the median age of uh, those participants was uh, 27, with uh, uh, interquartile range of uh, 4.25 years, and uh, the, among those participants, 52.1% were the males, and 51.3 in the, the percent were uh, female midwives and uh, the, 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 their mean work experience was uh, uh, 5.72 years of experience and uh, three fifths of uh, them had less than five years work, work experience. Here is the summary of their social demographic uh, characteristics and <coughs> Uh, like the 54.5% the, the of the participants were working in the hospital and the remaining 45.5% were working in health centers and like the 55.9% of those participants were hold bachelor degree and 36% uh, uh, of those participants hold the, the diploma in military. And uh, when we come to the COVID-related uh, knowledge attitude and preventive practice among our participants, like the 58.5, 39.4, and 57% of midwives are like good knowledge, uh, good attitude, and good self-reported preventive practice of uh, COVID-19, respectively. 
and like the 80.4 percent of uh, those participants feel that they may uh, probably get infected uh, while caring for the those uh, the pregnant women laboring and those uh, uh, clients and like around 92 percent or 92.5 percent of uh, those participants feel they may uh, still transmit uh, the disease to their family when when they came back to their home and uh, besides this, uh, like 92.1 percent of uh, those midwives reported, they they are still interested to give care for their women uh, with COVID. Then, when we come to the outcome variables, like the depression, anxiety, and stress among the midwives, like the 41 percent of uh, the midwives reported like mild to extremely severe forms of uh, depression. Uh, the twenty nine point six percent of those midwives are uh, reported to have uh, mild to extremely uh, severe forms of anxiety, and ninety percent of those midwives still uh, found to have uh, mild to extremely severe forms of uh, stress with the indicated uh, levels of confidence interval. Then uh, the, 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 this prevalence is uh, had some differences, like there is more than some studies conducted, like in Ethiopia, uh, some years back, as well as uh, in another study in Turkey, as well as uh, in China. But also, the, it was found to be higher than studies uh, which was which were done in uh, like Singapore, and like the, these differences could be the. the the first thing that the, the time that we conduct the study was like the the COVID pandemic is one of one of the issues which may create such uh, differences that the, 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 the emergence and the the, the transmission of uh, the disease may create still uh, the, the, the differences in per perceived uh, exposure among those healthcare providers and the nature of uh, still the the, the 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 care that midwives provide. Uh, may not allow the, like, the, to, to keep uh, midwives away from their clients so that they need to be together they they need to be they need to provide their care uh, close with their uh, clients and uh, prolonged contact is still there so that uh, the difference could be due to this uh, and uh, when we when we see the factors uh, which shown the, the, to have uh, associations with depression like uh, the female midwives have found to have uh, the positively associated with developing uh, or having the depression. Working in rural health facilities was also one of the, one of the factors, and working in government facilities still uh, had an increase also of uh, developing the, the depression. And having poor knowledge and attitude towards this, uh, the, the the disease and uh, use of substances found to have uh, an association with. Uh, developing uh, the, the, the depression and uh, the like the, the working in government facilities had also still uh, shown a positive association in developing uh, <coughs> anxiety and uh, uh, poor practice of uh, prevention practices as well as poor attitude towards the disease also associated with uh, anxiety And when we come to stress, like the the, the rural residents, uh, use of those substances, uh, poor knowledge of the disease, and uh, poor self-reported uh, preventive practice are uh, still uh, associated with developing stress. Particularly, working in uh, rural facilities is found to be like uh, protective or reduced uh, also uh, developing uh, stress. Then uh, female midwives were like 1.35 times more likely to develop depression as per the study when we compare with uh, those males. And uh, the, 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 this finding was still in line with another study which was done in China during the, like, the emergence of uh, the pandemic. And uh, still in our context, this could be uh, like the, the, due to the, like, the intersect effects of uh, the genetic, biological, hormonal, as well as social and psychological uh, factors which may influence the woman and the cultural context, is particularly in Ethiopia, though those female midwives have uh, still uh, 
uh, additional responsibilities in taking care of the family, control the household activities, and the like could still uh, increase their uh, liabilities to develop uh, uh, depression. And the, the, those midwives who, who are working in rural facilities were uh, 1.39 times more likely to develop uh, depression as compared with those midwives working in urban areas. And uh, this could be like due to the lockdown influences and uh, particularly the access for information as well as personal protective equipment was limited in uh, rural areas. Uh, and, uh, Still, uh, this finding is also may contradict with the situation that the isolation, quarantine, and treatment centers were located in urban areas, which may still uh, pose fear and the, the risk of acquiring the infection on uh, urban uh, dwellers. Uh, but still, uh, we find like that. And thoughts of uh, developing depression and stress among midwives with poor knowledge on COVID-19 were 1.4. Times higher when compared to the those good knowledge, and uh, this could be due to the fact that uh, providers who had good knowledge uh, of the disease could have better understanding of the situation, and they may have updates, and this may uh, still uh, uh, increase the, 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 the their fear. And midwives with uh, poor uh, COVID-19 prevention practice were 1.5 phase 3, 1.47, and 1.6 uh, times more likely to develop uh, depression, anxiety, and uh, stress, respectively. And uh, the, 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 this could be the, the like midwives with poor preventive practice uh, are less likely to acquire the, the, the infection and uh, uh, the, 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 taking care of and complying with the disease prevention strategies could give uh, them a slight sense of uh, protection. And uh, doors of depression and distress were uh, 1.69 times and uh, 2.06 times higher respectively among those midwives who, who were substance users and this finding is also in agreement with other studies like in India and this might be due to the triggering effect of uh, substances which impairs their decision making and judgment ability of uh, those workers and reduce application of uh, preventive Yeah, and uh, those of having depression were uh, decreased by 69% among midwives who were working in governmental health facilities and midwives working in private health facilities. And this could be the, the related to the, the, the issues related to job security during the, 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 that time and more job securities had been there in government employees and lots of private facilities were uh, reducing their number of uh, employees so that that, that, that that could be the reason uh, but the dose of anxiety was two times 2.44 times higher among midwives who were working in government health facilities as compared with uh, those private workers uh, but uh, which is contradicting but still that uh, this could be due to the like the critical the critical shortage of uh, personal protective equipment in uh, those government facilities <laughs> and also of anxiety among midwives with poor attitude towards uh, covid-19 had 1.31 times higher compared to those who have good attitude and this might be due to the, the reason that those people who are not uh, confident that that is could finally be like controlled uh, the vaccines could be the found out and the like uh, and the higher perception of susceptibility and severity may feel uh, may uh, cause them for uh, anxiety and uh, finally as the limitation of uh, the study the uh, like the, the, as the study finding is based on the self report using the subjective scale there might be still uh, reporting bias among study participants and uh, as we used to collect data using uh, the telephones, that the, the, there are uh, participants who didn't include uh, would not have still mobile network access. And as a conclusion, like the, the, the findings of this study show high rates of depression, anxiety, and stress among midwives in Ethiopia, 
and uh, the finding is highlighted the, the need for addressing COVID-19 knowledge and preventive practice gaps through like information training and uh, provision of safety protocols and uh, provision of adequate personal protective equipment is uh, still very crucial. Uh, thank you so much. This is uh, all what I have. Thank you so much. Thank you, Belene. Um, really interesting research and obviously on everybody's minds at the moment as well. We're all coming out of this pandemic and, uh, and there's lots of questions about how it's actually impacted the healthcare professionals that have been working throughout. Um, so this is a, a time for any questions that you may have for Belene about his study or um, anything that's come up from from his research. I, I just wondered, Belene, why did you focus on midwives um, rather than looking at other professionals? You raised an important question. Uh, like during the emergence of uh, the, 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 the pandemic, like uh, Lots of health facilities had been just closed, has been just uh, reassigned to, to just care for uh, COVID cases. And lots of outpatient and other uh, services had been just uh, uh, cancelled and the, the, the nationally recognized cancellations of those services had been uh, happened. But during that time, the midwifery care, uh, the, the, the midwifery services had been still maintained because uh, the nature of uh, the midwifery services is natural and it requires uh, uh, access for those services like the you may close the labor and delivery services like as the service the, the nature of the services is very natural the, 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 the midwifery services still uh, remain open and that was really a burden for those midwives and don't on, on the top of that like uh, the, 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 as the nature of the military practice still requires very close and prolonged contact, full of low contaminations and the like, the, the, the requirements for uh, personal protective equipment is still uh, increased on top of uh, the, the, the previous limitations and shortages. And this really created the, 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 the burden on the military service, on facilities, and uh, uh, as a midwife, we observe it, uh, the these issues, and uh, as lots of healthcare providers have been uh, still trying to to make them away from the service, with, uh, those midwives remain uh, on their practice, and still the, 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 all these issues and our observations on our midwives, the frustrations uh, still. Uh, just initiated us to, 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 to assess uh, the implications of their uh, psychological status. That was uh, the issue that just uh, led us to, to, to us to conduct this study. I'm not sure if I uh, addressed your question. No, that's really interesting. I think um, in the UK where, where I work, Midwives was were one profession that perhaps didn't get pulled to work in other areas uh, because, like you say, the the service for maternity continued, but there was a lot more movement within maternity services. So, from delivery suite to the community or postnatal ward, so midwives were having to be more flexible and perhaps practice in areas out of their comfort zone. And this no doubtedly added to levels of stress and, and anxiety as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Did um did the health professionals in Ethiopia um have this experience of, of moving out of their, their home during COVID so as not to increase the chance of bringing COVID back to their family? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, there were some modalities like uh, the, during the emergence of uh, the pandemic, like some of uh, those middle, those healthcare providers who were working in particularly uh, COVID centers were uh, just instructed and arranged to stay uh, there in the center uh, all the times. 
but those healthcare providers like including midwives who provide routine services uh, are not staying in the, uh, in the facilities like when the, the by the end of uh, the working hours they came back to their home that was the issue that midwives were facing and still their families is uh, uh, concerned and their concern for so uh, they may transmit the disease for the family was uh, like that but uh, the, those uh, healthcare providers were working in uh, uh, are predefined the COVID centers stay there uh, all the times. And did your study look at th that that group of midwives um, and how depression, stress, anxiety affected them compared to those that stayed in their family homes? Yeah, the, almost those, uh, all those uh, midwives who were working in immune set units uh, were with their families by that time. The, 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 the country's modality was to like the <clears throat> quarantine those uh, providers who were dedicated for only for those working in the COVID centers, right? Mm -hmm. So that this this uh, just coming to their family workers for all those our participants that was that sanction in general. But still, we 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 just uh, ask it that. Okay. If anyone else has any questions, they can use the the chat, or if they have a a microphone, you're welcome to turn it on and and ask the question. Have uh, have things improved, Belene? Um now that the the vaccine has em emerged is it a full program of vaccination in ethiopia uh, yeah actually it's not a full program yeah the, currently the the first priority was meant for like uh, those healthcare providers and those uh, elders with like some comorbidities was the national priority because of the limitations in number of those uh, vaccines and um, recently the the, 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 no, the the scope of the vaccination coverage is increasing they still uh, including adults uh, who are interested to be vaccinated and the like but still uh, the, 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 there are problems on the acceptance of uh, the vaccines among like those uh, pregnant postpartum even healthcare providers lots of the uh, Healthcare providers are uh, still prepared uh, to get vaccinated. That's also another challenge. Though the vaccine is still available, the, the, there are limitations uh, and the, 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 lots of uh, different attitudes among healthcare providers and among the general population is still here. But still, the, the, like the, 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 the concern is uh, related to the complications and the, the, like the, the, the normalization is uh, related to the disease and it's just uh, uh, process has been just becoming normalized and uh, nationally still the COVID-19 uh, protocols have been revised, the restrictions uh, related to personal protective equipment, travels, lots of restrictions have been uh, left out and uh, and now things are still improving, but uh, the attitude related to the vaccines need to be uh, still improved and lots of uh, efforts uh, required for uh, our respective stakeholders uh, in this regard. That's all. And, and how are the numbers in Ethiopia of, of people getting infected with COVID now? Are they at the lowest levels or are they still quite high? Yeah, uh, actually there are two things like the based on my observation like the the, the testing abilities uh, and the like are still not that much uh, strong like the lots of facilities uh, stop testing COVID-19 and the like and now the testing uh, is limited to some of the centers so that the, 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 the number may look uh, like reduced when we take the direct numbers, uh, which is comparable or based on the total number of testers. But 
Uh, there are lots of uh, clinical presentations that uh, mass of people is being uh, just uh, demonstrating uh, COVID-like uh, symptoms, and that's becoming just common to to be treated or to be uh, just managed as uh, like common cold in the right. But based on our observations, there are lots of um, COVID cases in the community, but the testing. Uh, is not that much uh, strong and maybe that could that could still uh, underestimate the, the, the reporters but uh, i think there are lots of uh, cases yeah and are the are the public still wearing masks in ethiopia yeah that's still uh, the, now the public is still there are people uh, who, who, who use masks, but uh, but still lots of people are not using the, the masks. People in the marketplace, even people in the health facilities, lots of people uh, don't use uh, just masks. And uh, like the, the people that are the just coming to normalize the issues, and uh, I think that the, the, the use of people, for example. Too. Thank you so much. I can see that um, Hillary is typing, but um, I'm not sure if she has a question. We'll give her a few minutes and just see if um, anything comes up. Oh, I think it's now arrived. So Hilary says she was interested in the differences between male and female midwives. Do you think women in Ethiopia are more likely to be in touch with their feelings of anxiety and depression compared to men? I think that is. In the UK, I think it's commonly found that men are less likely to express these kind of feelings. Do you find that in Ethiopia, Belene? Yeah, the, 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 based on our findings, like uh, women are more... Um, more on to have uh, psychological symptoms than males. Uh, yeah, the, 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 like the uh, first of all, like the number of migrants uh, still uh, in our country is almost uh, the same comparable, like the 54 around our based on our national census, like 54 percent of those. Midwives are males in Ethiopia, which is very significant and uh, uh, a lot compared to other countries. And uh, particularly, the, 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 you are right with uh, like men are less likely to express such that kinds of feelings as per your explanation. But uh, the, the COVID pandemic was uh, the, 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 it brings something different, like. Uh, those people having families, those people caring for those families uh, had lots of burdens, particularly when they became healthcare providers. We will be, we will, be, we will care for those potential people. And when you come back to home, uh, you are going to uh, just, uh, you fear that you may transmit the disease for your family members and the like. Still, uh, as the, 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 the Ethiopian culture, uh, Influences those women like to care for their families, their children. Uh, that social responsibility may still uh, for those women, female midwives, just uh, pose for uh, additional burden uh, compared to those uh, males, unless uh, uh, still made the uh, males could be more likely, the, 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 sorry, less likely to express such feelings, but. Uh, in our study still, uh, the women found to be uh, posed for more uh, psychological symptoms. But uh, the, 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 the plausible reason that we found finally was uh, their additional social and family responsibilities uh, still uh, will make them frustrating uh, than males because the like the males may, may, may not have like uh, intimate relationship, like which means uh, they may not care for uh, the, the, the children, families, and the like. More, the, 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 this responsibility is more on uh, uh, females in our country, so that the, the, that may still create uh, 
an additional uh, burden for those VWFs. That, 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 that was one of the reasons, but still, uh, it may be uh, different uh, because of the cultures and uh, still the, the, the number of female and male VWFs in the particular facilities. I'm not sure if I, uh, I got to rely. No, thank you. So if there are no further questions, um, I just want to say a big thank you, Belene, for, um, for coming and presenting your research. Um, it's been really interesting and I'm sure there'll be lots more studies on, on the effects of COVID on midwives and other healthcare professionals. So I think you're leading the way with this, this research. Thank you.